Hi guys, today is a really sunny day over here. So it's one of those days in which you want to kind of like take a ride in your bike and go explore outside and have fun. And that made me think, a bike, it's so hard to draw a bike. So I figured, let's give it a try. What we're going to do today is use the, a cap to make the, the wheels and a pencil. And we're gonna give it a try. First thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna draw two circles. One and two. Next, do you have a, do you, if you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. I'm not gonna use one, but it may make it easier for you. I'm gonna go from the top of one circle to the top of the other circle and make a slight line. Tita, a lot of this is gonna get uh, erased and stuff, so you don't have to, it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to worry too much about it. Okay, next I'm gonna go from the top of the circle to the bottom of the circle and make a line. Same here. Again, if you feel more comfortable with a ruler, just use a ruler. And I'm going to find about the middle of both lines. I'm going to put a dot over there. Okay. I'm going to keep drawing the wheel here. Now we have the two wheels. Now from the middle of this one to the middle of this one, I'm once again going to draw a like very slight line, just as a reference. So it doesn't, I mean, not even see it there, but on the video, but it's just there. Okay. And now in that line, I'm going to put a dot more towards the back wheel, somewhere around here. All right. And now, I'm going to go from up here, and then, yeah, like up here, you leave like a little bit of space too between the wheel and the line, and then a little bit of space here as well. I'm going to draw a triangle, okay? From here to here, from here, down here, and then this from here to here. Okay, now let's draw a big C with this in the, this angle of the triangle in the, in the middle. I'm going to draw something like this. Okay, and now a small backwards curve, like, the, like a backwards C, <laughs> that goes on top of the middle of this wheel. It's going to be slightly smaller than the other one, like that. Now we're going to join the top of this C with the top of the little C, like this, and the bottom of this one to the bottom of the other one, like that. All right, now we're going to make a line from the, this angle of the triangle to the middle of the wheel again. That and from this angle of the triangle to the middle of this one. Except this time we're gonna start at the wheel. We're gonna go past the angle and make it a little bigger. Now we're gonna draw a V like that. Not really heavy, but <laughs> and we're gonna make two. They don't have to be perfect rectangles over there. We're 
underneath the petal. That's going to be another line over here. We're going to draw another one of this ones. That's the petal. Now, this line of the triangle, we're going to bring it up a little bit. And now we're going to do similar to here, we're going to do the C's. Except this time, the little one's going to be in front, and the big one is going to be in the back. And now we're going to join the tops. In the bottom, we're going to get a little, in, like a little curved. That's the seat. There you go. Okay, so now we have the outline of the bike. What do you think? Did it come out for you? Remember, you can always use a ruler if you want to uh, make the, like, if you feel more comfortable making the lines. I'm gonna get, like, an orange bicycle. So now we're gonna make the frame of the bike. What you do is you incline your marker a little bit so that Oops, I made a small mistake there, doesn't matter. So it's a little thicker, so you incline it so that it's a little thicker. Right. I'm gonna color this part red. the wheels. Oh, should we make them a fun color? Make them green. Why not? <laughs> Alright, so what do you think? Looks like a bike now, right? <laughs> I'm gonna just go ahead and outline it again. That's the bike. How did yours come out? Go show your friends or your parents. I bet you they're gonna be really impressed. It's often so hard to draw a bike. At least I think so. But I mean, by breaking it up into like little pieces like the circles and the triangles, makes it a little bit easier. Again, it may take a little bit of practice, but please show me the ones that you came up with. I'd love to see them. Till the next time, bye.